Hello, it's Jamie J, and today I'm going to show you how to take a video from YouTube and embed that onto your WordPress website. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Um, just so that you know, I do have, I'm going to share my screen here, and I do have a video all ready to go, so this is assuming you have a video that is uh, ready to go. I'm going to show you how to take this video upload it to YouTube, and then go ahead and uh, get it onto your WordPress site, embed it there. So basically what you're gonna do is, I just set up a brand new uh, Gmail account. So you're gonna go and make sure that you're logged into your Gmail account. And then at the top here, you're gonna see this little number pad or dial pad type looking uh, uh, icon. And I'm gonna click on that and go into YouTube. And um, your YouTube is probably gonna look a little bit differently. You're gonna have your logo and stuff. This is a brand new account. So um, what you're gonna do here is you see this little up arrow, as long as you're logged in, you're gonna click on that. And that's gonna go to the upload place. And then you click just anywhere on here. And then you're gonna go and find where you went and your video is living on your, uh, on your computer there. So here we go, let's go into here and I believe it's here, and obviously you get to pick it yourself, but I recorded a video earlier on Zoom, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this upload, but while I'm doing it, I'm gonna go ahead and type in my title, um, and this title, um, be specific about what you want the title, use some, use some good descriptive keywords, right? Welcome to the, the dailies on the Jamie J Show. And then I always like to start off with a URL. Always put that first before you start sharing your description. Why? Because um, a lot of times when you go, a lot of people just type out the description, then you gotta click on a button to go show more, and they don't see the link right away. This way, you just make it real easy for people to click on the link. So I'm just gonna say, uh, put in the URL here, and that's the way they can go right to it. And I'm gonna say, um, uh, this is a show that Jamie J created um, called The Dailies. And I guess I should put that in there to stay consistent. This show is all about leadership, uh, entrepreneurship, um, uh, technology, and uh, tools you can, um, business owners and marketing and, and uh, high level executives can use to enhance and or improve their uh, business uh, reputation and marketing. Oops, and the reason why I'm doing this live is because I want you to see um, how I go about doing this because I think you should do something. Say, I guess I could have saved some time just by copying and pasting this out, but I really think it's important that you see how this is done. Um, uh, and you can say, you can learn more about how to subscribe. Always a call to action, right? Subscribe to my show on Amazon, it's called, it's ca called a flash briefing. And I go into this more on my next episode. Or iTunes or just simply visit my site. Then I'll go down here and I'll do some tagging. I'll do um, the Jamie J Show. I'll do Jamie J. I'll do um, the dailies on the Jamie J Show. And uh, yeah, so that, that's probably good enough. You can also tick this off uh, um, 
uh, you notice this is going to be public. You can tick this off if you have a Twitter account already set up. I accidentally attached the wrong Twitter account with this, so I need to fix that. Um, but normally, I would go ahead and click that and then add a little message so that when I did publish it, it would publish on Twitter as well. Um, and then I like picking a, a neat little thumbnail here. I'm going to pick this one because it looks like there's a lot of action going on. And then you can add to a playlist. Now, I've already created a playlist. And if you need to learn how to create a playlist, just let me know. Um, it's pretty straightforward. But you see, I have a playlist for my dailies episodes. So I'm going to keep those separate so that when people visit Jamie J TV or my YouTube channel, they can easily find what it is that they're looking for. So now you kind of want to just review this. If it's public, it's going public. That means anybody can access it. It will actually be searchable. If it's unlisted, that means that anybody with the link can view it. If it's private, that means that anybody with the link can view it, but only with your permission. And then obviously you can schedule this to be published at a later date. So once we're pretty comfortable that we have this and it's ready to go, um, we can go ahead and hit publish and you don't have to worry about translations or advanced settings right now. That can come later. Um, but this is it. So right now you can take this link and send that to people and you can share it with that. But since we're going to be embedding this on your WordPress website, you want to click on embed and then you want to copy this. So either right click and copy or uh, if you're on a Mac, it's command C or I believe if you're on a PC, it's control C, I believe. <laughs> um, but you just go ahead and make sure that it's copied there. Now comes the fun part when we get to, or I shouldn't say the fun part. It's all fun, I guess. You got to have a good time. Uh, you just go to make sure you're logged in. So you want to go into your back office and what you'll do is you'll go to um, your website. Now, a lot of websites are changing this up, but for the most part, it's probably your website domain, which is this part right here, right? forward slash, and then you go into WP-admin. That's WP-admin. Well, I'm already logged in, and you can tell I'm logged in because this little black bar across the top here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the edit, and some people may have an edit with a builder or just edit page, wherever, whatever you're doing. I'm going to edit this podcast, right? And so I go in here, or you might see edit post or edit page, whatever the case may be. So here it is, uh, right here. What I like to do, though, is go into the text version here. I'm going to click over here and give it a couple uh, returns there. And then I'm going to paste this. And I'm going to paste it right in here, uh, just like that on the visual. Um, and then I click back on the visual so I can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. I'll just click on it and make sure that it's nice and centered. And then make sure we go ahead and update that. So now what it's doing is it's updating the YouTube video using the embed code that you just created. So now if we were to go and view the post to see what it looks like, there it is. Bam, we have the, the, um, the, the YouTube video on there. Now let me show you kind of a, a little hack or a little trick. Oftentimes when you go and you play this, um, you may see at the very end, it's going to give you related videos. You see all these related videos, and that might mean it might go off of your site. Well, you don't want people to go off your site. You want them to stay on your site. So let me show you this cool little trick. If you click back in to edit this, and then you go back over to the text tab here once you're in the back office, go right to the end of the YouTube. This is the link right here, and you can see it. It's in between these two quotes there. And what you're going to do is you're going to type question mark, R-E-L equals zero. So this little thing right here, question mark, rel equals zero. Now, why do you do this? Because you're going to say that you don't want any related videos to show in there. You just want your video there. This is a really neat little hack and tip for you to keep people focused on your content on your page. Go ahead and say update. And now when you go ahead and you view it on your page, when we go to click there, you can either click there or there. You'll see that we can play this along. Hello, this and go back here and you won't see any related videos on there now. You see how before we had those related videos? Just a neat little tip. Well, I hope that this helps you out. Let me go ahead and stop sharing there. Um, hope this helped you out. Uh, uh, if you need anything else, please go to Jamie dash j.com to learn more and that's um jamie j-a-i-m-e dash j j a y dot com thanks so much for tuning in hope you enjoyed this and uh, we'll talk to you soon all right